Welcome to your OS reviews. You're watching our video review of the Crank Dash. This is a 9,000 milliamp hour external battery pack by Crank, uh, which is designed in a company based in California, here in the US. And the Dash is one of the more heavy end uh, external battery packs that the company offers. Again, with 9,000 milliamps, it's going to be able to charge your smartphones and tablets uh, pretty much, again, for smartphones, can be more. It's going to be sufficient for four to five full charges, but for tablets, perhaps one or one point five times, depending on your device. So again, the company states that this is one of the lightest, but mo um, one of the more more powerful high capacity external battery packs available on the market. Um, it's not the slimmest or the lightest like their Dart was, but uh, it still is fairly impressive in terms of the size, which we are excited to see. So the company does a pretty good job with the packaging. On the back, you can learn some more specifications, and more importantly, on the dash, unlike on the Dart, you actually actually have two outputs uh, ports of USBs and the first one is a 5 volt 1 amp port great for charging smartphones, uh, Android, Windows, and iPhone um, and the second port is 5 volt 2.1 amps which is great for tablets such as Android, such as Windows, such as the iPad and that's going to work pretty well. The weight of the product is 180 grams so a fairly mid-end uh, in terms of the weight but it's going to be pretty small in terms of the size. Uh, it also has four LEDs to tell you uh, when the product is running low on battery and how much the external battery pack uh, actually has in terms of juice and there's also a built-in wall uh, wall charger which we're going to take a look at that's included in the packaging the product can be purchased off from Crank's website or from Amazon.com and arrives in about three to five days, so pretty fast shipping from the manufacturer. Here's the device itself. We're going to take a look at that in a moment. You get a micro USB cable in the packaging, which can be used to charge the device and also be used to plug in a smartphone to the device. So it's a two-in-one use. Here's the aforementioned wall adapter that's included right out of the box. Uh, this is a pretty cool accessory to get because the price of the external battery pack is pretty inexpensive, and you also get a great deal in here because this wall adapter actually has two separate ports. So you can, you can either charge the external battery pack itself with the AC adapter, or when you're not charging this device, you can actually charge your phone directly using the AC adapter at home uh, because you can charge up to two devices, a smartphone and a tablet simultaneously. So essentially, it's also a wall charger that comes basically bundled in with the external battery pack. So it's a two-in-one set, which we do like. In here, we also have access to a quick instruction guide slash warranty. Taking a look at the design of the actual uh, external battery pack itself, it's also pretty interesting on the eyes because it has this interesting circular on-off icon on the top that's going to show you how much battery life you have left. Um, it's not as per perhaps eye-catching as the Dart was, but it still is a pretty good design overall. It's crafted out of the same soft-touch material, so it feels very grippy and easy to hold in the hand. And it's still relatively slim and easy to carry around in terms of slipping into a pocket or putting into a, a pouch for carrying. The top also features a built-in LED a flashlight like just like on most, most higher end and higher capacity of external battery packs so you can use a nightlight feature in addition to charge your devices with. You can see the left port is for the charging tablets and iPads and the right port is for charging smartphones and essentially that's it. You simply plug the device in and it automatically starts charging and there's no keys needed. The left hand side features the input for charging the actual battery pack itself. Charging device itself took about 2.5 hours to fully complete, so it's a pretty good time. And we found that the retention rate for the battery is also pretty strong. So even if you put it into storage, it's not going to go out of juice very fast. So that's definitely great. So we wanted to plug in a smartphone for testing. Here is a Samsung Galaxy product. We can simply plug it in. Now, one area where the uh, actual crank... Uh, where the actual battery pack here isn't perhaps as good as the Dart is that sometimes recognition is a little bit more finicky on this battery pack than it was uh, on the actual crank Dart. So in, in, in this instance on the actual crank dash, uh, some, some smartphones might be a little bit picky and they tend to charge for a few minutes, like five minutes, and afterwards it ceases to charge, which is strange. Now this thing doesn't really happen on more popular smartphones like Samsung Galaxy products, iPhones, we haven't experienced that. But if you try this out with lesser known devices like the ZTE Flash, uh, some ZTE handsets in particular seem to be kind of uh, picky uh, with their device. And you can see how on this particular phone and stop charging for some odd reason even though the product itself still has a bit of juice to go. So it seems to be a bit more finicky unlike the Crank Dash which is more universally supported and we didn't have these issues. Still charging devices uh, definitely works if you uh, have a bit more patience with it and play around with it and the uh, using the iPad itself also worked quite well and our iPad 3 was fully charged in about 2.5 hours which is a pretty fast time. Turning on the flashlight is also simple. We press the power on and off key rapidly two times, and that automatically activates the, um, the actual flashlight itself. 
Uh, again, we press down on it actually just to activate it. Um, and you can see how it's an LED flashlight that works pretty well. It's bright, it's vibrant, it's great for uh, when you're locked in, perhaps out of your door, and you want to take a look at a closer look at the built in crank charger or the two port charger that's included with the crank dash. And it's actually a pretty cool charger because the crank logo also illuminates when the device is plugged in. So if we plug it into the wall over here, we can see that after a few moments, it's going to actually illuminate blue. So this is actually a pretty cool design from the manufacturer and allows you to have a greater indication. And it works pretty well in dark environments as a quick night light. And it's a cool effect overall from the charger that's included. And it slowly fades after you unplug it. So definitely a pretty cool design. And overall, the charger itself works very well. We like the fact that it's molded out of a single piece of plastic and uh, seems to be a pretty high quality accessory. Again, that's bundled in with the price of your external battery pack, which the is flashlight pretty. itself is also pretty easy to activate. Simply long press on the power on and off key to activate that. It's a built-in bright LED, so it's great for uh, perhaps opening your uh, door at night, perhaps with keys that you are struggling with. So it's uh, going to offer you some night uh, nighttime assistance. It's also a great uh, flashlight in general to have by your bed so it's it functions and it works as advertised and we're excited to see this as a built-in feature onto this ex external battery pack Overall, the Crank Dash is a great battery pack because it's very small, it's easy to carry around, also offers a built-in light in addition to the ability to charge two devices simultaneously, such as a tablet and a smartphone together. That said, it's not as good as some of uh, the company's other offerings in terms of compatibility because for some reason on, on some of our smartphones, it only charged for about five minutes before the charging stopped, even though the device still holds a pretty fair charge, uh, which you saw in a moment ago with the Samsung Galaxy S3. Um, but it doesn't happen with every device, so it's a bit bizarre in that particular case. Overall though, we still love the design, and um, if you're interested in something that combines, again, portability with some pretty cool design, we would recommend that you take a closer look at this device. Thanks for watching, please check out our full written review for more information. This has been our video review of the Crank Dash here at OS Reviews.